All right, in this next lesson, we're going to focus on the natural exponential function. Um, just the theorem says every real number x, there corresponds exactly one positive real number y, such that the natural log of y is equal to x. Our definition of that um, exponential function, it's going to be denoted the exp. It's the inverse of our natural log fun function, which we just spent the last lesson working on. Also, the letter E denotes the positive real number, um, which is the approximate value 2.71828. Okay. Um, also, the natural uh, E to the X is equal to Y if and only if the natural log of Y is equal to X. And the theorem that we're going to be um, working with is the natural log of e to the x is equal to x for every x, and then also e raised to the power of the natural log of x is equal to x for every x greater than zero. And just like we have properties for our natural logs, we have some properties for exponents. When you multiply like bases, what do you do to the exponents? Add, good, when you divide like bases, you subtract the exponents. And here, when you have a power raised to a power, you multiply. So this is e to the p times r. OK? And the next thing we recall is the theorem. So the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. Now, if it's this is a little more complicated, and we say let it be u, then we would take the derivative of e to the u is e to the u times the derivative of u. Okay, so we've done this before, and we've seen it, so this should be a little bit of a review. Now we're just going to spend some time working through some examples. And our first example is the most basic one. y is equal to e to the x, which by definition, our derivative is just y prime is just e to the x. Okay. Number two, so what if y is equal to e to the 7x? I'm going to write this out the first time, so we'll just have y prom is equal to e to the 7x, but now this is not just the x value, so it's like a u condition. So we'll have d dx of 7x, so y prom is just going to be e to the 7x, and we evaluate the derivative here, which is just 7, so y prom is equal to 7e to the 7x. Now this one in particular you tend to get really quick with and um, not have to write this um, intermediate step in the beginning, but let's just do it for good practice. Okay, our next one is y equals e raised to the 2x to the third power. So our derivative is going to be e of that same times the derivative of 2x to the third of our u value. So y prom is equal to e, we bring this down. Now what is the derivative of 2x to the third? 6x squared, good. So 6x squared. Um, I like to bring the 6x squared in front, not that you have to, but, okay, we'll squeeze number 4 over here. The only thing I want you to see is this is two terms up here, one term, two terms. You're still going to work it. I'll go ahead and um, work this, and then you can pause it and check your answer. Okay, good. So the derivative of this is the negative 2x e and then you have 3 minus x squared. Okay, so if we have y equals the square root, first of all, we're going to algebraically rewrite this as 1 plus e to the 3x to the what power? To the 1 half power, okay? And then now we're going to take the derivative of this. So y prom is going to be just 1 half, what, whatever's in our parentheses, we bring it back down to the minus 1 power. So what's half minus 1? Negative 1 half times the derivative of our parentheses. Okay, so we'll have y prom is equal to um, 
what is, let's come over here and do the derivative of this. The derivative of 1 is just 0. What's the derivative of e to the 3x? 3 e to the 3x. So that would be like e to the 3x times the derivative of 3x, which is 3, over, um, and then I still have my 1 half, which is out front. So 1 half. This is my 1 half. This is my derivative. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring this down to the bottom now. So that's just going to be um, 1 plus e to the 3x to the 1 half power. Or I just went ahead and put it as a square root. So let's clean, clean up a little bit better. So y prom. So 3e to the 3x over 2 square root. 1 plus e to the 3x. All right, number 6. How many terms is number 6? 2, so we're, we're going to have to uh, evaluate this using product rules. So we're going to have first times the derivative of the second term plus second term times the derivative of the first term. Okay, and then let's take our time and go through that. We'll bring down our x squared. What is the derivative? Let me do this in red. The derivative of this term. First of all, it's going to be e to the negative 4x times the derivative of this u term up here. So what's the derivative of that? times negative 4, good. Then I'm going to just continue on, so carry down my e to the negative 4x, and my next step is what is the derivative of x squared? 2x, good. So let's just go through and simplify this a bit. Um, I'm going to bring my negative 4 out front. Negative 4x squared e to the negative 4x plus bring my 2x out front, 2x e to the negative 4x. Now, do they have things in common? Yeah, so if I don't see this answer in the back of the book, then I could look for a GCF. In fact, their GCF out, which would be, um, let's see, they have at least, both of them have a 2, both of them have an x, both of them have e to the 4x. So if I divide this term by this, what would we be left with? A negative 2 and an x is left, and then plus 1. Okay, and the next one is going to be e to the x divided by x squared plus 1. So we're going to use our quotient rule, which is low d high minus high d low over the square of what's below. So I'll give you a few minutes to... Write that down. Low derivative of high minus high derivative of low over the square of what's below. So let's bring down our x squared plus 1 and evaluate what's the derivative of e to the x. It's just going to be e to the x. Bring down e to the x. And what's the derivative of this term? It's just going to be a 2x. And the bottom we're just going to leave as x squared, the denominator. Okay, let's see if in the numerator if there's something we can simplify. Oh, this has an e to the x term and this has an e to the x term. So let's factor out an e to the x. That would leave me with x squared plus 1 here. I'm going to leave a space for it. And then on this side it would leave me with the 2x so I'm going to have minus 2x. And I went ahead and just put it in order. x squared minus 2x plus 1 over our denominator. Now what about this? This can be factored so that's the equivalent to e to the x what multiplies to give us 1, but adds to give us negative 2. And x minus 1 squared. Well, that's still not going to cancel because it's not the same term as what's on bottom, but it's a little bit more of a simplified version of um, 
this one.